Right, good evening to you. Thanks for clicking on to this U USA forecast for this evening. It's Saturday the uh, 8th of October and we've got a, a very, very large contrast uh, across the country, coast to coast. We've got a trough and uh, an area of low pressure that uh, came in off the Pacific several days ago and is now uh, basically situated over the Colorado-Kansas border. What we're seeing is as well is the cooler air moving in behind this area of low pressure and producing heavy snowfall across the mountains of the Intermountain in West. We've seen tremendous snowfall across California through Nevada, Utah, and now into um, portions of Colorado as well. We've seen uh, snowfall down to, to uh, the, the elevation of Denver and uh, certainly winter arriving across the west. In the meantime, folks, we've got tremendous warmth, uh, more summer-like warmth, in fact, across the, the eastern plains through Ohio Valley. And that heat now has progressed towards the east coast. We've seen a, a tremendous sunny day across the uh, places like the interior northeast as well as the I-95 corridor, the major cities from uh, from D.C. through Baltimore, Philadelphia, up in, the, in New York City, and all the way up into Boston. We've seen temperatures into the 80s in Boston, so a tremendously uh, wonderful pattern for this time of year. Very, very warm. We're seeing records uh, fall. We're also seeing potential records fall tomorrow. And uh, we've got a, a pretty impressive uh, eastern uh, ridge in place. That eastern ridge is getting uh, helped and aided and enhanced by the, the trough that's out west. It's digging, pushing against the ridge. And as that's doing so, it's a forcing warmth from uh, the southern plains through Texas uh, and the southeast. All that warmth is getting projected up into the northeast and particularly so across the Ohio Valley this afternoon. We've seen temperatures in the low to mid 80s. I'm going to show you uh, the current temperatures. This is around tea time Eastern Standard Time. And you can see here a very sharp thermal contrast splitting the cool, uh, unse uh, basically unseasonable cold across the, the majority of the West, and that is indeed starting to expand, as you can see. The heat a few days ago was centered uh, across the Dakotas, down into Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, and that heat is now getting pushed away from even Minnesota, where uh, this is the seventh day where the temperature has been above 80 degrees in uh, Minneapolis. That's a, the, the, the most in an October since 1953. You can see here now the core of the heap now centered uh, over the, the, the lower Midwest and uh, into the Ohio Valley. And this heat will indeed be centered more over the East Coast tomorrow. You can see here the upper 70s uh, between uh, DC and New York City. And you can see here a, a, a pocket of even warmer up in the, the Boston area, 81 degrees at the moment. I think the temperature did go above around 82 or 83 this afternoon. But you can see here, folks, that uh, it's slightly cooler here uh, over the, the eastern seaboard itself. And then once you get west of the Appalachians, then you've got the mid low to mid-80s. That heat will be then over the central, uh, uh, basically the interior northeast tomorrow. And uh, back here across Colorado, up in the Wyoming, we've seen snow in Cheyenne, Denver and surrounding areas in the mountains, we've seen even heavier snowfall, several inches of snow in fact, falling. See a slightly milder pressure trying to get into the west again, but that there is going to be moderated somewhat and uh, it's not going to be uh, warming too much across the west in the coming days. Look at the surface pattern, and this is quite important. You can see here the core high pressure now over central Pennsylvania and basically over the, the Pennsylvania, Virginia, or uh, Maryland border. What we're seeing is here, and this is very important, you can see here, oh, the very heavy showers over Florida. The reason being is, folks, we've got a very pronounced uh, east flow coming into Florida, and it's all indicative of the high pressure to the north, and you can see here the winds that are uh, basically clockwise around this area high pressure, is indeed forcing very moist air into Florida, and we're seeing very heavy 
uh, showers and thunderstorms develop over Florida. Another area uh, I want to point out to you as well is over anywhere from south central Texas up into north Texas, Oklahoma, and even in the uh, portions of Kansas as well. The reason being is, folks, this high pressure as well is uh, forcing air around it and uh, across the Gulf of Mexico over Texas. And it's basically this moist, uh, humid, warm air is, is slamming up against this boundary. And this boundary, of course, separates the cool air from the way into the west and the warm, summer-like air over the east. And what that's doing is uh, all the warmth is getting shoved up against this trough and this boundary and uh, setting off these showers and thunderstorms. You can see a wee area low pressure actually over northern Mexico as well. You can see here behind the front uh, the snows over uh, northern Colorado, so southeastern uh, Wyoming. And, uh, it's certainly an interesting pattern for sure. The problem is as well I want to point out to you is that the area of disturbed weather could uh, form a, a tropical system, a named tropical system, over the next day or so. We're going to need to watch that very carefully. But what we are concerned about is that this area of uh, weather develops an area of low pressure. Now, whether it forms or not is perhaps irrelevant. The reason why I say that is that the models are forecasting this, uh, this development of a low to then track up the east coast. The problem is, of course, uh, we don't need any more rain across the, the mid-Atlantic region and the northeast, particularly you know, like southeastern Pennsylvania, around the Susquehanna Valley, places like that that have seen so much rain over the past couple of months, but don't need this. But I'm going to keep you very, very closely uh, monitored uh, in terms of this uh, development of this area of uh, low pressure in the south. Uh, off the Florida coast and really it looks as if it's going to move up the east coast and produce several inches of rain throughout the course of next week. So I do urge uh, folks across the northeast to enjoy the sunshine. It's going to be very warm tomorrow. We're going to be seeing temperatures in the 80s. Remarkable warmth for this time of year. Uh, a time where we should be seeing uh, cooler weather, breezy weather, rainy weather uh, of an autumn uh, nature. But we can certainly see a very, very summer-like weather pattern uh, in place across the northeast at the moment. So enjoy that when you can. It's certainly not going to last uh, much longer at this time of year for sure. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a terrific evening. And uh, bye for now.